This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. Okay, so I thought we could talk about nitrous oxide induced vitamin B12 deficiency because this was new to me last week. So nitrous oxide or laughing gas we can use for procedural sedation, but it's actually used as a recreational drug for some people as well. It's what they refer to as whippets, is it's the canisters that fill the whipped cream. And so the nitrous oxide that is used to pressurize those whipped cream canisters, people inhale to get high on it. I mean, what happens is the nitrous oxide binds to your vitamin B12 and inactivates it. And then the vitamin B12, which acts in a process to make myelin for your nerve sheaths and axons, can no longer do that. So you get demyelination of your central and peripheral nervous system. Um, And it leads to what they call subacute combined degeneration of the spinal cord. Um, And because the C-spine has the highest density of myelinated fibers, the C-spine is the first one affected. Um, So these patients can come in with paresthesias, ataxia, gait changes, and things like bilateral foot drop or lower extremity weakness because they have this demyelination of their nervous system. Your MRI can show changes within the C and T-spine and your B12 levels will be low to normal. You can actually have a normal B12 level, it's just inactivated B12. Um, And so the treatment when patients are symptomatic like this is, of course, first stop using whippets, and then you have to replace their B12 with daily injections and then weekly injections and oral supplementation. They often have to go to rehab, and it'll take kind of four to six weeks to come back, regain function. And in 2019, it was one of like the top 10 drugs in gaining in popularity because of easy access to it. Um, so kind of an interesting case we had the other week um, that I wasn't aware of. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.